Thank you and welcome everybody. That was our official Ki Khobor jingle created by our own Sohini and her husband Ronjon, who is an amazing songwriter and lyricist. You'll notice that lots of us are wearing our Ki Khobor t-shirts um, <laughs> and that was the t-shirts were designed by our very close friend Tahsina from Holud Gulab and 10 pounds of every t-shirt so the profits for all the t-shirts go towards Rohingya learning centers in Bangladesh refugee camps. We're also going to be thanking all of our storytellers or the first 50 storytellers with um, our Kikobor t-shirts. We want the term Kikobor which basically means what news to be part of the colloquial language in this country because we are here and we are British Bengalis and we are very, very proud. We've got two fantastic speakers, guest speakers. We've got Bishaka Mashi and we've obviously got the wonderful Hamza speaking to us later on. But let me introduce you first to my co-host, Tawhid. Hey, Poppy, thank you very much. Hi, everyone. It's a real pleasure to be here. Through Kihobor, we are going to create a platform where people can tell their stories shamelessly like shamelessly is really important there is no shame in any of our stories and when we do that we create a safe space for the next generation to speak up and build it's about compassionate dialogue it's about moving from empathy to compassion it's such a simple project just to collect people's stories but it can be so powerful and um, for me, Kikobor is not just about the last 50 years of heritage, but it's about the next 50 years as well. Um, yeah. What do we, is there going to be a Bengali community in 50 years time? What form or shape is that going to take? Uh, we have different races, different cultures, all identifying with the, Beng with, you know, being Bengali. Mm -hmm. um, are we going to be a community that's inclusive enough to accept difference amongst us and to be able to heal and be able to really push the boundaries out in a way and set an example for other communities. Yeah. And that's what Kihobor has to do. It has to create a vision and a space for the next generation to step in and grow from. Bishaka Mashi, you are an artist and you're a creative director and dance has played a big part in your world. Dance means like breathing air it kind of helps me to survive. That's how in many, many situations, I have been able to do something which would have been otherwise quite difficult and unusual, but yeah. that was possible because I was driven by my dance. When we started, there wasn't that kind of very strong community organizations to support. It is changing now, and now we have got a network of good uh, community organizations. But when I first started, nobody really kind of believed, or it was not in their thinking that it could be a profession and somebody's trying to do it seriously. But when um, I was considering this question, what does it mean to me? At the end of it, I realized that it gives me self-confidence. And that is really what makes you carry on. You give love to everyone, try to belong, be responsible, and you get it back a thousand times more. Abhishek Amanshi, that is an amazing story. Thank you so much for sharing your stories and your wisdom and your love of dance with us today. Hamza, let me invite you into the conversation. You are a icon. What got you into football? My mum, uh, I think um, I've said it quite a few times, but I think as a kid, I had quite a lot of energy. Uh, I was probably driving her up the wall. So she took me to an open day at Loughborough University. And, and from there, I sort of, I love with football uh, and then from then on it's, it's been a big part of my life every day and it's obviously I'm lucky enough to do it professionally now. Um, so my trips to Bangladesh we used to go every year I think I, I stayed there for like nine months when I was uh, a baby uh, so I think at one point I probably spoke more Bengali than I did English. We're from Hobbyganj uh, in Sillet, so uh, we used to live in like a little village. Uh, it was amazing. It was amazing for, 
for a kid to go over there and sort of embrace your culture because uh, it is a different. It's a di it's different to the Western culture we we live in. We felt so free over there, and it's it's, it's a very like tight knit community, and everyone looks after everyone. And it was it was such a big part of our childhood, and we used to all go over as a big family, and you know it was it was, it was a really good time. And who were your role models within your family? Uh, I think my mom. Uh, my mom is probably my biggest role model. Uh, she's an amazing woman. I think uh, she's in she's in the chat somewhere. So. Sure Hi, mum says mum. <laughs> what advice would you give to people that are getting into a sector or an industry that actually, you know, they, they don't see enough people like themselves in? There's nothing to be scared of, you know. There's a first for everything. Don't go into anything with too much pressure on your shoulders and, and give it your best shot. You don't want to, at the end of the day, turn back and, and see someone else do it or, or not reach the goals you've set and, and feel, feel guilty because you've not, you've not done everything you could do. Uh, so for me personally, it's just work, working as hard as you can and don't give yourself or anyone else any excuses. I love that. Thanks, Hamza. Thank you so much for joining us today. Loving the Kihobot t-shirt on you. Thank you, Poppy. Thank you, Hamza. Hamza, you're an amazing role model and inspiration for you. You know, the younger lads and the girls around us. Can I just bring this whole event, this reception online to an end? Uh, would have been so much better in person, but it's wonderful to be able to connect with everyone all over the country. And I can see people are connected from abroad as well, as far as Bangladesh. So it's a real privilege to have everyone on. Want to thank everyone. Um, sign up to the um, website and um, really thank you very much, everyone, for the lovely chats you've been posting, uh, all the messages going out and everyone that we've had on today. So I think um, for Bangladesh's 50th anniversary, uh, it's been a really great event. I want to introduce Sahini, and you're going to bring this whole thing to a beautiful end. Just to introduce everyone to Sahini, she's a British Bengali singer, and you produce some beautiful versions of uh, classical Bengali songs. I understand you're a specialist in Nazrul Giti. It is uh, Amar Shunar Bangla by uh, Tagore, uh, or Robi Thakur, uh, and um, we wanted to present it. So my band, it, this is a, a, a huge... Uh, joke amongst my friends that I was born in London and yet here I am singing in this country in Bangla. So this is what we call Bengali music with a London sound and um, we hope you like it.
Giro.